that day, Percy was calling a train for supplies. When he arrived at the worksite, he heard a familiar whistle. Oh, bother. <sighs> Hi, George. Uh, Hi, Percy. Percy was surprised. He thought he was going to get into a fight with the steamroller. Later, Percy arrived back at the shed looking very upset. You seem to love something up. Well, it, it's kind of hard to say. What do you mean? Well, I was at the yards at the worksite and I saw George there. George? That impeccable steamroller? But Thomas, he didn't let me finish. He didn't look happy. I don't care if he was upset. Now, you're bugging me, so go to sleep. And with that, they did. Next morning, Toby had to take the stone train down to the worksite for the work to use. George? But George didn't say anything. He just looked sadly at Toby. Well, what's the matter? You can tell me. I just want to be friends with everyone. I don't want to be known as the mean person. Not anymore. George felt even worse. Toby could see this and tried to cheer him up. <sighs> well, George, I believe in the future you may be forgiven by the others. I forgive you, but we don't know about the others yet. And don't worry, if you are meaning to change, they'll definitely forgive you. Well, I can't stay around much longer. I have to go. Goodbye, George. And with that, Toby left. Soon, George was heading his way home. However, he kept thinking about what Toby said to him. What can I do to show that I've changed? Well, oh, thank George. Then, George heard something. Oh, come on. I better go inspect what that is. You're here. Terrence, wh what happened? I was trying to get over the tracks before my engine shut off. Sadly, I didn't. We need to hurry before... Oh no, that's Thomas. And he's got a passenger train with him. George sprang into action and whistled loudly to warn Thomas. First, my 
my father's driver brakes! Jumps the driver and applied the brakes quickly. Please stop. Please stop. I don't want to go back to the works. Look out! Thomas takes a screeching halt a couple inches away from George. Uh, George! Uh, Thomas, I can explain. I don't want to hear it from you. You have caused confusion. At Thomas soon looked up. He saw the cart behind George. He didn't even realize it was there. You saved me from that? I, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? George, thank you. You've saved me and my passengers. You really have changed. George felt much better. Now Thomas and George are best friends, and I guess it goes to show that anyone can change, even George. Hitler.